Welcome to Engineering Acoustics. Hi, this is Professor Ryan Horn. Throughout this semester, we will explore a wide variety of topics in acoustics through the lens of engineering. By completing this course, you will be able to question, analyze, and tackle many common problems encountered in acoustics applications. In this video, we will answer key questions regarding the topics of this course. So let's get started. So naturally, the first question that we have to answer in this class is, what is acoustics? Some would say that acoustics is the science of sound, but a more formal definition of acoustics is a science dealing with the generation, transmission, and reception of energy as vibrational waves in matter. So matter could be solids, liquids, gases, or plasma. In this course, we'll focus on liquids and gases, collectively called fluids. And when waves propagate through liquids and gases, we refer to these waves as sounds. Our second question to answer is then, what are sounds? Sounds are pressure changes in a fluid medium transmitted from a source through a medium to a receiver, just as the schematic shows. A source generates pressure changes, they propagate through the fluid, and are received by the receiver. So these uh, the fluid that's used in this case may be a gas or liquid or may even contain multiple fluids with an interface in between them. In special cases in this course, we'll consider sound propagation through solids, but mostly focus on gases and liquids. So now that we understand acoustics and sound, do we have to hear sound for it to exist? So it's the hearing sense that detects and processes sound and for humans, this hearing sense detects sounds from with frequencies from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, also written as 20 kilohertz. And a hertz is a cycle per second. So this means that humans hear from 20 cycles per second to 20,000 cycles per second. Whereas bats, on the other hand, can hear frequencies from 10,000 cycles a second, or 10 kilohertz, to 115 kilohertz. So these are sounds that are heard by biological creatures. But the sounds exist if it's not heard. Well, of course they do. In fact, there are many applications where sounds are essential, but there's no actual hearing involved. For instance, in ultrasonic ablation of cancerous tumors, the tumors receive focused ultrasound, heat up, and are burnt out. Whereas in the case of rocket launches, there's structural damage that's induced due to the noise, the extreme levels of noise outside the rocket fairings. In these applications and more, there's no hearing, but there's certainly an influence and important impact of sound. In fact, there are many, many applications where sounds are influential, from ultrasonic imaging to communication, noise control materials, ecosystem monitoring, construction, building science, audio signal processing, and so many more. There are many applications of acoustics that touch all fields of science, medicine, engineering, and the arts. And a great way of visualizing this is called the Lindsay's Wheel of Acoustics. It was created by Bruce Lindsay in 1964, and it helps us understand the multidisciplinary nature of acoustics and how it pervades all of society and technology. But what's interesting about this imagery of the fields of acoustics is that whether we're re referring to acoustics application and applications in the earth sciences or arts or engineering or the life sciences they all share core fundamental principles in the very basic physics of acoustics so that said these wide variety of topics might excite you based on your personal interests and professional pursuits so who should take this course engineering acoustics so you should take this course if you're interested to learn more about how to apply acoustics knowledge for one or more acoustics applications. Or if you're interested to brush up on your fundamentals of acoustics and see how these concepts are utilized across diverse disciplines, then I encourage you to sign up and take our course, Engineering Acoustics. So that said, if by completing this course, what will you gain? Well, you'll we'll gain an understanding of the concepts of acoustic system analysis and design, an understanding of sound wave propagation, including radiation, absorption, and transmission, as well as how humans perceive these wave propagation behaviors. And finally, we'll apply essential acoustics problem-solving methods for diverse engineering applications. So whether 
you're interested in pursuing a higher and more advanced understanding in acoustics later on in graduate school, or you're interested to apply your knowledge today in your workplace or at home, this course is for you. This course will cover a wide variety of topics from propagation to human perception. Weeks one to four will cover basic wave propagation phenomena, fundamental audiology, and understanding how we measure and record sound. Weeks five to eight will go over acoustic sources, their combinations, uses in advanced applications like medical ultrasonics, as well as how these waves propagate through multiple layers, such as for noise control material development. From weeks 9 to 12, we'll go over interior acoustics, that's, that is sound that's confined within a certain domain, how we measure it, design for it, as well as regulate it by a variety of measures. In the last weeks 13 to 15 of this course, we'll focus on human perception of sound and how these characteristics are exploited, for instance, for virtual sound or augmented reality. I look forward to exploring with you many fundamental and practical aspects of acoustics. In the next video, we'll learn about some of the course logistics, including our learning pace, our assignments, and evaluation.